Hello, my name is Andrew Tattersall. I'm an information specialist based at the School of Health and Related Research. And this is a series of short videos called App Hacks. The purpose of these videos is to support students from uh, medical and health backgrounds, get them all out of these mobile devices that you have. This one that I'm going to show you is Essential Anatomy 5. I believe on Android it is Essential Anatomy 3. I'm not sure whether there's been a 4 and a 5 that's appeared. It's £19 on, um, on uh, Apple and it's around £8 via Android. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill down and show you a little bit more of what this uh, app can do. In here we are presented with um, a skeleton of which we can kind of build upon. I'm looking at the male skeleton at the moment and I can go by these little menus down on the right hand side and select various parts of the anatomy that we want to explore. If I tap on the one uh, just below the one at the top on the right hand side, the muscle plus, I can put the first uh, layer of muscle uh, and because there are many layers upon we can build upon that so I can go on and build up the muscle, I can build it down, I can add the nervous system if I want like so and then I can pinch in and scroll and move around to look at the anatomy like so. Uh, takes a little bit of getting used to but I can go in and look at any part of the anatomy like so. I can um, go and have a pen and draw upon the screen so if I want to make any notes or show somebody something if, I, if I'm kind of doing some kind of tutorial or instruction uh, if I click off the pen that will do that. If I go to home it will take me back to the actual uh, anatomy uh, of, of from the beginning perspective that you get. I can switch the sex of the anatomy with this bottom left hand uh, button. If I click that it will then convert to a female anatomy and um, and again I can go in and make kind of changes as I see fit. Um, I can go and um, click on various parts of the body and it will bring up what I've clicked on, so I've got the rib cage and connective tissue. If I click on the rib cage, it will show me the rib cage. I can um, click the info button here that's appeared on the screen, like so, and it will give me information about the rib cage. I can fade that out so I can see what is behind the rib cage, and I can totally hide the rib cage. So again, I can see what part of the anatomy is hidden behind it. I can isolate it as well. So now we can see a rib cage. I can scroll around that. I can select. Uh, different views of the rib cage. So there's the posterior, there is the left lateral. Uh, so I can do that and I can um, hide all the other bits and go back, click the isolate, it will take me back to where I were. Um, and uh, there is also the option, so if I take these off, there's also the option to have uh, to share. So I can click the share button like so. And I can save this image to my photographs if I want to do that. I can also share it via social media and via email if I so wish. Uh, and finally, um, down here in the, I can also place pins as well uh, if you want to put a pin into a particular part of a body just to kind of highlight it. Um, I can also, uh, if I go to the more button, there is a quiz. If I click the quiz, I can take a quiz. Uh, based on the anatomy. So there's a lot to this. For an app that is um, £19, it is very, very comprehensive uh, and one that I think anyone who is involved in anything to do with anatomy would find this very, very useful and, and probably far more kind of uh, exploratory than, than actually using such as a reference book. Mm -hmm. So yes, that's, it's a useful one to have uh, and uh, well worth, well worth getting.